She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in a blink of an eye. A whole senior, I'm back. Oh, I, I didn't realize you were glancing. I got you. Now you're back. Ba -da 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 -da. Hey, how many of you guys have actually seen or played Phoenix Red, though? It's a prostitute ring. Prostitute ring, oh my god. Type 1 if you've ever heard of Phoenix Red or played it before. Type 2 if this is your very first time seeing this game. Sanct, you fucking liar. You're a liar. You're a liar, Sanct. Where's Rachel? One, one, one. So that's too nice. Two, first time, first time, nice. I've seen a little bit of it. It's my first time kind of playing through it. But I've seen a bit of the game via the anime, so yeah. Rachel's dead, Soga. Oh, God. She had a commission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burring passion. Never looked back that one. That painting. What's about that painting? That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. What do you think, y'all? Let's go back to the crime scene. Let's go. Let's actually do this. Let's actually go finish this uh, scene here. We got everything we need. September 6th at 34.42 p.m. Detention center. The detonation center. Visitor's room. Let's see, we can, I want to listen to the cell phone. Maya, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, it's actually something I want you to hold on for me. Oh, we already read all this. We already heard, saw the call in the star. We don't really need to actually listen to it again. In case your memories will be bad, though. It's there. You can earn that PP fast, Ice Dragon. You can earn that PP fast. The faster, the better, the way it's rolling. And Twitch is going poopy again. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lore? Um, well, what do you- what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. He was a fat ass. What are you talking about? What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Oh! I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh, come on. I'll do it. It's fine. I'll talk to them instead. I'll talk to them instead for you. I will be your attorney! It's fine. What? What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she can still be alive. The woman in my family had been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... he... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Also, I had to become an independent or I would have lost- lose my ESP. I feel bad for her, all by herself up in that mountain. Good job taking the dude roll, that's right. The roll! So who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? Oh, she ruined, alright. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir, everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of, of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? Ah, uh, you get up, Dice Dragon. The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's uh, consolation with a medium had all been carried away in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and linked it to the press. He told all the papers, the papers, the old babies, that my mother was a fraud and 
Media jumped on it big time. You know, this is a character I'm going to be doing here in Arnold Voice. I think Sig knows which character. There's going to be a character I'm going to be doing in Arnold Voice. I guarantee it. <laughs> You'll see who. One of my favorite characters, actually. She and my mother became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me, White? That was his name, his sister told me. White, hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? I'm curious to see what happens if you say go home. Guys, should we go home or defend Maya? Should we defend her or go home? Let's see. Go home or defend her! What's that going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Go home! I, I kind of want to see what says go home, but you mean, I know it's probably going to lead to the same point where it says go help her. Defend, defend! The whole point of this game is to be a lawyer. No, I'm just going to go home and call her today. She's going to go to jail, no problem. She she killed her! She killed her! Protect the marshmallow! Oh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to defend. It's a credits game over. That's what happened if you do it, actually? Legit? Oh, you don't know. Oh, okay, I'm not doing it then. Fuck it. <laughs> I've made up my mind. Come on, be nice and go home. <laughs> Demon Flame. I'm going to offend you whether you want me to or not. Wing it. Yeah, okay. So, dare turn your back on Mia. You mean turn my back on uh, Maya. Mia's already dead. I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as, per as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Ooh, flashback. Okay, can help her, bro. I will help her. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. She's like, she's like flabbergasted. Goddamn. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Where is uh, that point of the video game option? <laughs> That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one, uh, and I'll get you out of here. Right, thank you. Woo, she smiled at least. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside the strange woman's drawer? Oh my. It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. She's all happy now. She's like, yeah! I want to bug Maya so bad. Oh, absolutely. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, and you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I do believe I'll guess Miss May. It's currently using the uh, facilities. If you've no, if you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No. Hey. <laughs> Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. Now's my chance to snip around a bit. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Ah. Y you came back quick. I want to ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Miss Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Wait. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Breaking Bad, anybody? The blue stuff? Mr. White? Walter White? Done and done. This game knew about it before it even became a thing. My God. <laughs> Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Miss Mia and Maya's mother. Mr. White. He knew about it before the game came out. <laughs> Could it be coincidence? Exam. Let's, let's check that drawer. Check that drawer! There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. That was my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? 
Wiretap added to the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this, Miss May. Why would she have something to like this in her room hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. All right, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. I'll get to this woman's bottom, God damn it. Our bellboy is still there. Oh, time to scram. I look forward to tanging, uh, tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! Uh huh? To be continued. And roll the JoJo music. Roll the JoJo music. <laughs> Do not turn off the power. Save the game. That's right. It's like the DS Game Boy Advance version almost. In court. In a session of court. Here we go. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. I think a British voice for Edgeworth is perfect. Like a proper Ed British voice for Edgeworth is literally Objection! Right Objection! Objection! The defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm going to bed early. So go ahead, hat. Uh, Phil Fox, have a good night, man. Have a good night, man. Ho hopefully you're enjoying the game, Phil Fox. Hopefully it's not boring you. Miles Edgeworth. Better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me an incident. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opinion statement. Your opinion. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have witnesses who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you. Mr. Edgeworth, let's begin then. You may call you your first witness. The prosecution calls the chief officer to the scene. Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Objection! <laughs> sir! My name, my name is Dick Coming to Shoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down in the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. My name is Dick Coming to Shoe. That's what I'm going to call him every time. Because he's going to be around for a while. He's a detective for a lot in this game, believe it or not. But yeah, Felfox, have a good night, man. Oh, have a good night. Have a good night. Let me use this Lord of Map, the officer, office to explain. Almost lost your wallet. Damn, Ice Dragon. Ooh. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker found next to the body, sir. Might be all. He might be an iconic character, definitely. It was heavy enough to be deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it as a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. No, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? The fucking clock. Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. It had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detec Detective coming to show. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. We're just testimony. Here we go. That's not hard evidence at all. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why we had a witness accounting describing her. The witness now saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Oh, actually, Dubunk? Oh, damn, really? Hmm. The very, mo the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you must begin your cross examination. Y uh, yes, Your Honor. Cross examination, what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh! Smack! <laughs> dick is lovable. Everybody loves that dick. Everybody loves that dick. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. 